So Revel Point sent me their new Range 3D scanner. And with this scanner, I was able to scan an entire person in full color, and then take that file and 3D print this detailed miniature of them. And just about everything you need comes in the box with the scanner. And this is the actual scanning unit itself. And it's a bit larger than all the other scanners that Revel Point makes. And this is due to it being able to scan a larger area. This also means that you have a large, medium, and small option of scanner depending on what you're working with. And so you can see the difference. Here's a POP2 and the range scanning the same area. And you can see that the range has a much larger scan area. And because you're working with larger objects, there is an option for a larger turntable, which comes in really handy if you're scanning an entire person. And one thing I really like about these scanners is that you can plug it into a computer and use it that way, or hook up your phone to it and be way more mobile. But there are definitely some limitations to this. For instance, trying to scan outside in sunlight. The infrared light from the sun will just wash out whatever you're doing. And you won't be able to scan anything clear or shiny. So you're going to want to use some 3D scanning spray. And this stuff does an amazing job and dissolves in a few hours. So there's no cleanup. But it's also kind of expensive at $40 a can. But you can always use some other kind of powdered spray. And this will get the job done. It can also have a hard time scanning darker objects objects, like these black leather gun holsters. Scanning hair can also be a problem depending on how shiny or dark it is. So using something like dry shampoo or cornstarch will allow the scanner to pick up on things a lot better. And just keep in mind this will make a huge mess. But it was able to pick up the hair a lot better. With that being said, 3D scanning still has its little hiccups. And it will take trial and error to get things to scan properly. And once you've learned how to get quality scans, this is a very powerful tool. Seeing that this only took a couple minutes. And now I have everything I need to start designing my own parts and with a 3D printer I can print them out and start testing them right away. Or if someone wants a mask that will perfectly fit their face, you can just do a quick scan, clean it up, and print it out. And like I showed at the beginning of the video, if you do a full body scan of someone, you can scale it down and print miniatures of them. So as you can see, this can be used in a lot of different ways. But just keep in mind, you do need to learn how to use 3D software or have someone that can do it for you. I really suggest looking into ZBrush or Blender for this. And there's an absolute ton of tutorials for both of these programs. And as I'm recording this video, this is a live Kickstarter campaign, which was completely funded in the first day. And Revel Point does have a good track record with all their Kickstarter campaigns, and actually delivering what they promise. And if you're wondering about the pricing for the Range 3D Scanner, here's everything on the screen now. And as you can see, you can save quite a bit if you get it early, but it's going to be 100% up to you. But anyways, like always, I would like to know what you think of this. And is this something that you'd be interested in getting? Well, I think that's about it for this video. I'll have links to everything I talked about in the description below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.